Hello all. Let us start this session on OpenMentorNet.net, specifically on software testing within that test execution. Okay. In the previous session, we have talked about installation quality IQ, all the installation related tests. In this one, we are going to see the next level of tests which are called OQ. This is called operational quality. Operational quality is nothing but functionality tests. Okay. All the testing that you do with respect to the functionality, they are all called OQ. Within this also, assuming that we have done the installation quality. We are supposed to start with operational quality. The first set of things that we need to do is something called smoke tests, right? We will come to the smoke tests a little bit later, maybe in another 5-10 minutes, but before that, okay, soon after installing the product, what should I do? The first thing is called, we talked about configuration related tests, right? Soon after installation, you check the folders, icons, files. That is one set of configuration. Next set here, soon after installing, run the product, do navigation tests. Navigation meaning go to every screen. Go to every screen, right? See if screen comes up. So the first thing, I should be able to move around the product. If I am not able to get into a particular screen, that means I am not in a position to test that. So go through every screen. How can I go to every screen? There are menus, there are links, there are shortcuts, right? There are uh, toolbar icons. Let us take a Word document. To create a new document, you can use that file new menu or you can do that new icon or you can do control N. There are three different ways to navigate. Same way, you have to click every menu, you have to click every link, you have to click every shortcut, toolbar icons, ensure that screen comes up. That's the first test. All places, within every screen, right? Ensure all fields appear. Within that, check alignment, label, spelling, right? Size. For example, you go to a place, um, I'm just opening this uh, format and then font window. I'm checking the window title. I need to check this, okay? This area the alignment of every field okay the buttons are appearing here the spelling on these things are good okay this is the alignment this is the list box and the size imagine this list box is not aligned well with this this screen will look odd right so make sure after navigating to every screen all the fields that you have seen in your test case should appear check for alignment check for spelling check for the field size right also for color and uh, window title, very important. These are all look and feel related stuff. You are not going to enter any data. All you are going to see is visual check. When you go to the doctor, even doctor does the same thing, right? Doctor checks the eyes, tongue, right? Uh, so that, that's a visual check is the very first check we need to do. That is called navigational test. If navigational tests are not working, then obviously we have a problem in going into the product. Once navigation tests are done, we go to smoke tests. Some people call it as uh, sanity tests, right? Uh, some of the term that people use is also known as build verification test, BVT. All mean the same thing, different companies call in different ways. There may be a little bit of difference of opinion in uh, there is the way you call smoke test, the way I define sanity test, they are different, but essentially 
this is a smaller subset of all tests test cases importantly these are critical tests for the product for example if I give you a car I ask you to test the car what will you test first first I need to open the door then check whether the ignition starts then check whether I'm able to move from neutral to first gear check the brakes check the accelerator and clutch right only when these things work right all the other things do matter to me if clutch does not work what is the point if horn works right what is the point the wiper works what is the point that uh, the headlights work clutch is more important so you need to find out all the important tests are working that is called smoke test that's called a sanity test that is called a build verification test usually this will be uh, from 10 to 15 percent of your total number of test cases so if you have got thousand test cases around 100 to 150 will be very very important tests right uh, we need to ensure that our vital organs like uh, heart, brain, lungs, kidney, liver, they are all working, right? If one of them do not work, is not working, one, one or many are not working, there is no point in saying the hair color is not good, right? So we need to ensure that all the important areas of the product are working. Simple terms, ask this question. If this feature does not work, will customer accept this? Will anybody say that this is a product? For example, in email software, I am not able to compose a mail, I am not able to send the mail, right? If that doesn't work, there is no point in spell check working or not, right? Do critical and very, very important tests first that is called build verification test BVT or smoke test how do I determine which test is important which test is not important again I won't say not important relatively less important if you again if you see something in your project management side people always talk about P1 items right P1 means priority one which is of topmost priority you need to think about that in software there is an easy way to do that anywhere you see a create or new or add right all these tests are critical take a uh, instant messenger if I am not able to create a contact then how will I send the message to contact then how will I view the profile of the contact if I am not able to compose or create a new message, then how will I send? Correct? If I am not able to create a document, then how can I edit it or delete it? So, any create or new or add feature, they are all definitely in BVT. At least you are able to create some new things. If you take an ERP, creating a new item, creating a new purchase order, creating a new vendor, right? They are all important any create is definitely important right so if you are able to do this then rest of the things will automatically follow right definitely these creates are very very important that is why even in the crude method right we talked about C comes first unless you create you cannot read you cannot update you cannot delete create is very important now as this goes in the sequence you could see read is the next one create and then view create the contact view the contact so all these things come under BVT within that also create comes first right even in the car first to start the car moving the car is next starting the car is the very first thing 
so all creates are bvt bvt is also known as smoke test it is also known as sanity test only thing is different companies use different nomenclature to call these tests in different names right you can also say uh, very important tests right vit right once i finish this bvt this may not usually take uh, more than uh, two to three hours even for very big projects the first two to three hours are critical exactly like in heart or uh, brain related diseases the first to one hour is critical right if someone reports about a pain in the heart right the chest right if you are able to get within half an hour to the hospital uh, the cure is almost 90 percent uh, effective the more you delay that's a problem same way if someone has a kind of a stroke right brain related nervous disorders within first half an hour to one hour if you are able to take them to the intensive care unit that treatment is more effective than a delay same way in testing first hour of bvt is critical right in fact uh, one person is asking um, what is a stroke stroke is a brain disease that affects your limbs it's almost like a paralysis causes paralysis right very simple thing if some if you if someone is showing symptoms of seizure right are behaving abnormally not able to respond right do a simple test ask them to raise both hands right ask them to raise ask them to sit then ask them to raise both legs if they have stroke issues then obviously you will they will not be able to move one side right the reason i am telling in this webinar is this is more important to life we are learning testing it is also important equally important to know about life also right you are testing whether a person has a stroke or not right if a person shows symptoms of seizure do this ask them to raise both hands if one hand goes low they have a problem ask them to raise both legs after sitting both legs should come to the same height if not they have a problem right ask them to make the tongue right ask them to tongue ask the tongue to protrude right protrude out of the mouth the tongue should go straight if the tongue moves towards one side there's a problem right ask them to tell right or say list relatives and friends who are all your friends who is your father who is your mother tell right they may not be able to talk coherently if all these four tests fail right then they have a definite symptom of stroke rush to the hospital immediately within an hour right is more important good coming back to this these are all the four critical tests that you need to do for stroke to find whether there is a stroke or not same way to find whether the product has some issue do the bvt first if you are able to do that that's good important thing is all bvts all the tests must pass not even one failure allowed brake should work clutch should work steering should work ignition should work accelerator should work gear should work if one of them is not working one does fail reject the build build meaning the setup.exe or that product instance right reject it at the same time of rejection you need to ensure log a bug right how to log a bug a bug is nothing but a defect it is also known as issue it is all some companies call it as a problem right so in a sense you have got an expected result in your test case in front of your eyes 
you are seeing actual results when you try to add an item or view an item. The expected and actual results do not match. Right? When there is a mismatch, mismatch between ER and AR, it is a bug. And you cannot just call the other side of development or just show the screen immediately. Make sure you log a bug. But whenever you get a problem, a, a test is not yielding expected results, do not immediately log, right? Do the test once again, right? Because many times, even the tester can make a mistake. Do it once again. If it fails again, log a bug, right? Bug logging, we will see separately in subsequent sessions, right? Here in this session, we talked about smoke tests, navigational tests, right? And the importance of doing the very, very critical tests first, right? If one of them fails, you have to log a bug. Do it again, log a bug. Reject the build. That's a standard, ruthless, merciless process in terms of testing, right? Why should I reject the build? Because a vital functionality doesn't work. We may argue that other functionalities may work, but the question is, if the development team has given only this much low importance to a vital feature, what kind of importance they would have given to a non-important feature, right? Or an unimportant feature, right? That's the question. So vital features must be tested first. That is called BVT. I will stop the session here. In the next session, we will talk about doing rest of the test and defect logging in detailed manner. Thank you.